welcome to this week's Household Huddle. Okay, now before we jump into this week's story, let's take a minute to remember the four steps in a household huddle. Do you remember what they are? Breathe, share, reflect, and think. Okay, so where do we begin? That's right, we breathe. So let's take a deep breath together. Okay, and after we breathe, what do we do? That's right, we share. Okay, well today we hear a story about a letter that one of Jesus' disciples wrote to help other followers of Jesus to make good choices. The disciple's name was John, and he was one of the fishermen that Jesus called to follow him. But John had kind of a strange nickname. I wonder, do you have a nickname? Maybe your name is Joshua, but your friends call you Josh. Or maybe your name is Bexley, and your friends call you Bex. Sometimes a nickname is just your name made a little bit shorter. My cat's name is Cornbread but sometimes we call him Bread for short. Sometimes a nickname describes you. Like, if you have a friend from Texas, you might call him Tex. And sometimes nicknames are just silly. Like my dog's name is Rufus, but sometimes we call him Rutabaga or Rudy Kazooty. There are all kinds of nicknames. Now, Jesus had one disciple, Simon Peter, who he called the Rock. And John, the disciple who wrote the letter that we're talking about today, was sometimes called the disciple that Jesus loved. Now, we don't really know why he got that name, but he did often teach people about the love of God and how we're all called to love one another, just like God has loved us. Have you ever heard that before? Love one another as God has loved you? Well, that is a very important thing to remember, because we are all supposed to love one another. But in today's letter from the book of 1 John, John, the disciple that Jesus loved, also says, Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. Did you hear that? Little children, let us love, not in what we say, but in what we do. Now, when he said little children, he wasn't just talking about kids or people under a certain age. He was talking about everyone because we are all children of God. And he was saying that we shouldn't just talk about being nice to people. We should actually be helpful and nice to everyone. When we reflect, we think about the story. So you might want to talk to your household huddle about a few things. If you could have a new nickname, what would it be? How can you tell that God loves you? Could do to show God's love to someone else. Super job, everyone. Okay, let's play a game right now. Have you ever played Simon Says before? Well, I'm going to say Simon Says and then tell you to do something. Are you ready? Simon Says, Clap your hands. 
Simon says, pat your belly. And Simon says, touch your chin. <laughs> Did I trick you? Did you clap your hands, pat your belly, and touch your chin like I said? Or did you clap your hands, pat your head, and touch your nose like I did? See, sometimes our actions speak louder than our words. It's always fun to play Simon Says, so you can keep playing it with your household huddle if you'd like to. But remember in the week ahead that people see what you do more than what you say. So be kind and helpful because that is how we share the love of God with the whole entire world. Okay, what's the last step in a household huddle? That's right, thank. Well, this week, I'd like to say thank you to all the kind people out there that do their best to love their neighbor, whoever their neighbor might be. Thanks to all of you for joining us this week. I hope you enjoyed your household huddle. And remember, household huddle can happen anytime and anywhere, so just be creative. But no matter where you are or what you're doing, remember that you are amazing. And don't ever forget that God loves you just the way you are, and so do I.